The Dominican Order established their monastery in Athenry in 1241. This beautiful medieval town grew up around them. Cromwell and his cruel soldiers attacked the priory in 1651 and the friars fled, hiding in the neighboring woods and bogs at Esker, where they built their monastery and where they remained till 1893. Today at Esker, there is a retreat house, a youth village and monastery run by the Redemptorists. Each year, the village holds retreats and welcomes thousands of adults and young people from all over the world. On arrival, you are welcomed by our staff. They are a team of highly trained individuals who will make your stay here both enjoyable and spiritual. Once you settle in, you are given an outline of what will be happening during your stay here. You will be briefed on the classes, sports activities and meal times. The retreats last either one or two days and can be tailor-made to suit your needs. Retreat House is open throughout the year, welcoming people from all walks of life. The church was built in 1844 and has been a haven of prayer, peace and tranquility ever since. The new monastery was built in 1903 and is the home of Redemptorist brothers and priests ever since. Esker is set in beautiful woodland, offering peace and tranquility to all who visit. In 1971, Redemptorists began holding retreats for teenagers. In 1993, the farmyard was turned into a village that caters mostly for young people. There are many activities organized during your stay here, one of which is the treasure hunt. You can start now. <laughs> this allows everyone to get to know the surrounding area and to feel at home in Esker. There are 6,000 Redemptorists in 74 countries throughout the world. The Irish Redemptorists fight the cause of small farmers in Brazil who are being unjustly evicted from their farms. In Calcutta, in India, the Redemptorists work side by side with Mother Teresa's nuns for the poorest of the poor. In the Philippine Islands, they campaign for a just wage for so many exploited by multinationals. The day consists of classes and sports activities. During each class, the staff work with the visitors to explore personal, spiritual and relationship issues. They offer a peaceful, safe, caring and comfortable environment. The youth village is totally self-contained with its chapel, dormitories and dining area everyone is catered for. There are plenty of sporting activities. Whether it's kicking a football around the pitch or playing golf in the 18 hole pitch and putt course. Anybody with friends? Yeah. 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 
offers a variety of activities during bad weather and in the evenings. Usually we do the treats in school, like in a classroom there, so it's good to come around here, like new environment and stuff. But it's definitely to come out of school, it's better than having it in school because you know, in the school environment you kind of feel it's all teachers, but here it's different and new people. The teachers are very nice, they're very friendly, and they, they treat you one on one, basically. You know, they, they don't treat you as if you're a pupil, they really they talk to you as if you're a person yourself. The facilities are very good, like, since it is a new place, it is very good, like, you know, and the staff are also very friendly and helpful. You stay in dormitories and all your friends are in the dormitory as well, so there's absolutely brilliant crack in it, and you really get to know your friends then. I'm, I'm a lot closer to the people I came here with, people that I, even though I was with them for the last few, five years, I didn't really know them all that well. As the retreat draws to a close, everyone comes together for a reconciliation service and Eucharist. Music, singing and living life to the full are all important elements of your stay in Esco. The Redemptress hold retreats for teenagers, young couples, the handicapped and old age pensioners. The retreats meet the needs of young and old, of the healthy and not so healthy, of the spiritually robust and those who are struggling. Everyone is welcome.